As a person who loves reviewing indie games, but takes a long time <laughs> to make videos, I've missed a bunch of opportunities to talk about a lot of really good looking indie games. Now they're like a year to two years old. And I want to make more videos on more current indie topics. If you've played any of these games, let me know in the comments and we can have a good conversation about any of these games. First up, we have the year 2021. XO1 looks like a really fun, relaxing adventure. I was planning on making a video about this one, but I was working on other projects at the time when this dropped. As with most of these games, I'm going to list. It looks like an atmospheric, explorative space adventure with just a relaxing vibe overall. Mana Cage is an overwhelmingly positive puzzle game that I want to play, but haven't yet. It looks like a very stylistic game that's almost mind trippy. One of the reasons I wasn't considering talking about this was the fact that it's one of the more popular puzzle games in the indie space and I prefer talking about the more obscure indie games that basically no one's heard of. Inscription was a game I was thinking about making a video of and then Markiplier started playing it which made me realize how big the game had gotten already before I even tried making a video. Oh god oh god I haven't even finished the game yet. Sable is absolutely gorgeous and i even wrote notes about the demo for this one but i missed the timing on the drop once again it's an open world game with an art style that basically looks like the entire game is rotoscoped and like bruh it's so freaking beautiful road 96 looks like a walking dead meets mad max meets life is strange narrative game about i believe a road trip i didn't find it necessary to make an additional review to the pile when so many people already have it takes two won a lot of awards and i've played most of this game with my power rancid thanks to the friend pass system which that multiplayer system alone makes this game worth mentioning you only need one copy of this game to play multiplayer it's fantastic blue fire looks like a dungeon crawler type game but robots the level editor actually just dropped for the game this year so maybe i could talk about that next we have the year 2020 Going Under it looks like a fun, fast, hack and slash type game with an office being the setting. I'm not expecting much story wise, but the gameplay looks freaking fun. Hades was a game that my brother kept begging me to play and I was way too late to the party on this one. Another dungeon crawler, except this one, Critical Loves, Journey. A game that a lot of people like that I would probably cover if it didn't get over 17,000 reviews on Steam. Everland. A game I was planning on making a video about, but uh, 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 Cloudpunk. Okay, so I should have made a video about this around the time that Cyberpunk was popular because it looks way better than any version of Cyberpunk that I've seen so far. It looks so freaking cool. Filament, a different kind of puzzle game that I was considering doing a demo review on, which if you want demo reviews in the future, let me know so that way I can make more videos in less time. That is also a goal of mine on Patreon. And the more supporters I can get on Patreon, the more videos I can make more often. Assemble with Care looks like a very adorable puzzle game where you put together certain forms of tech in this relaxing game. Light Matter is a puzzle game that I played the demo for and was actually excited for the full game, but I didn't realize that the full game dropped yet. Oops. So those are the missed opportunities for videos in the last two years. Leave a comment down below if you've played any of these games. Now if you'll excuse me, I gotta finish next week's video because obviously I didn't have enough time to finish it this week, hence this video.